Hello and welcome to Clan Macad. So today we're going to have another look at third angle and first angle projection using this little guy here. Now this is an x-ray view of the object. Everything in light grey is the solid body and everything in dark grey are holes travelling through the object perpendicular to our current view. Now on the left hand side you can see a feature that ends with a dome and a hole that travels not all the way to the edge so that will be concealed from any external viewing. On the right hand side however we have a cylinder where a hole does travel all the way out to the edge which we'll be able to see right through from the external side. At the top there we have another hole travelling through which just allows asymmetry in that direction as well. One side will have a hole, the other will not. Okay, so here's a quick look in 3D just to back up what I've just told you. So once again, let's look at first angle first. Now we're going to use the same front view in each example. The cylinder is going to lie on the right, the dome on the left and the hole at the top as far as unique features go. What we've got to remember is to use that 90 degree roll in the direction of whichever view we're trying to create and whatever you see looking straight down from the top is what you're going to draw. The result of this, as you can see, is that each respective feature on the front view lies on the opposite side on each projected view. So the cylinder on the right, the drawing of that facing you lies on the left, the hole at the top lies on the bottom. Okay, so moving on to third angle, again we're going to use that exact same front view and using that cardboard box thought pattern I explained in the last video, you can quite easily see that what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the nearest side to the view we want to create by 90 degrees until it faces us and again just from the top down, looking down, what do we see? That's what we draw. Now what you'll notice from this method is that the features on the front view actually lie in the projected view that's on the same side as it is on the front view. So the cylinder on the right there is in the right hand projected view and the hole at the top is in the top projected view. Okay, so once again I'll end this on a comparison so that you can kind of decide for yourself how you would maybe like to remember it and see the difference between the two. So that's probably us for third angle and first angle for at least a while. Let me know what you thought of the videos and if you have any suggestions as to what direction you'd like me to take on any videos CAD related or drafting in general, you know, let me know. I'm, I've got a few ideas in the pipeline. Next thing is probably going to be 3D modeling methodologies. It's not really something that's heavily discussed and I really want to dig into that properly. So that will probably be the next thing coming your way. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next time.